Welcome to Intro to Slide Rocket by the Mary F. English Program. Slide Rocket is a slideshow creation platform that lets you store your slideshows in the cloud a lot like Google Slides does. Although I think that Google Slides is better suited for working collaboratively in a group, Slide Rocket is a good option if you want to make your presentation look as attractive as possible. Slide Rocket also offers some advanced analytics functions to users who pay for a subscription that would let you know what types of users are looking at your presentation, how often they are using it, and where they're clicking on your presentation. So to get started, we go to SlideRocket.com and click the Login button. Once you are logged in, you'll see a list of all of the presentations you've made with Slide Rocket and be able to edit them. So to get started, you would click the New button in the top left and select which template you want to go with. We're going to go with the chalkboard. OK. And this is the main editing interface. It should look a lot like Microsoft PowerPoint, except there's a simpler interface that goes around the perimeter. And a lot of these features should be pretty self-explanatory. So if you're making a presentation, first thing you'd want to do is give it a title. and a subtitle. You just double click to type these. As you add things to the page over here you should have different options. For example we can change the fonts and you can tell there's some different styles than your traditional PowerPoints or Google Slides. You can make it even cooler with some effects from over here. For example you can make the letters glow and then adjust the uh, strength of the brightness right here. So I recommend going through checking out each of these effects to see which ones you like and which you don't. So this looks nice. We'll go down here to create a new slide and as you can see it guesses what template you're going to want to use just like Microsoft PowerPoint. Notice over here it's no longer showing the font types, it's showing slide properties. You can change the theme, you can change the type of layout for the text. These are the pre-made templates. And you can change the default background. And you can adjust transitions from one side to the next with this button. We'll give this a title. And we can have that get positioned over to the left. These are just standard formatting options. Instead of text here, we'll hit the delete key and insert some pictures. And to do that, you actually need to import media to your Slide Rocket account. So as you can see, this is how much space I have available. I have about 1.21 gigabytes left. So we're going to go to Import Media. I'm going to hold the Control button and select each of these cars. Hit Open. And then it will upload. I'm going to select, I hold the Shift key to highlight all of these. Then do Add Media. And there you go. Then I can resize these like normal. So resize them so they all fit on the page. This picture has too much white in it, so I'm going to click the picture and then click the crop button and just get the Volkswagen in the picture. So then hit crop one more time and it's a smaller picture now. And if we wanted this to face the left instead of the right, we'd go up here to Arrange and do Flip Horizontally. The Arrange tab has a lot of other standard functions such as Bring to the Front, Send to the Back. So putting pictures on the page is pretty straightforward. If we want to insert text, just go to the Text button and then type a description under your images. You can move them around change the font. All pretty standard stuff. So and now I'll show you how to insert videos because inserting videos is one of the nice features about Slide Rocket. If you've ever tried to insert a video in Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, usually it doesn't work out for me, but Slide Rocket makes it really easy. So first find a video that you want to insert. We've got the Jolly Green Giant here. So we go to video and you can upload your, your media, but I don't recommend it because it's going to take up a lot of space on your cloud drive. So what we can do is click YouTube here, copy and paste their link, hit enter, and there you have it. So we'll delete this text box, move that, and notice the guidelines that show up that can help you center it. 
So we'll put it below that. And now when we go to preview down here, we can click through our slideshow. And the video will start automatically. And silly commercials have been around forever. And those are the basics to get started with SlideRocket. If you already know how to use Microsoft PowerPoint, it'll only take you about 10 minutes to figure out SlideRocket. And it's worth giving a try because I think it looks quite a lot better than Microsoft PowerPoint and Google Slides. That does it for this lesson. If you'd like to learn about another slideshow presentation platform, check out any of these intros in this series. Thanks for watching.